Gary Gordon is a community leader and entrepreneur born and raised in a middle class family in Savannah, Georgia. Gary owns two successful businesses and loves to give back to the Savannah area. How was it growing up in Savannah? I grew up middle class, two parent home. My mother taught social work at Savannah State for about 20 years. My father was always an entrepreneur. He always had small businesses around town, um, from liquor stores to car washes to, um, to janitorial companies. I grew up in Savannah, Georgia on the west side of town. What schools did you attend? I went to A.E. Beach High School, went to Shaw University in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I majored in business with a minor in social work. His wife of four years, Frida, explains how they first met. I met Gary at Shaw University in 2000. He was a freshman, I was a sophomore. Yeah, we were friends. Um, we actually were in a class together, African American Theater. And that's when we um, first held a conversation. I met Gary through his brother. He and I, his brother and I are really good friends. He's a very jovial, he's cool, relaxed, understanding, and very good listener. He has a big, big heart. Gary, personality, Gary's, um, Gary's a really, really good guy. Gary's always trying to help somebody with something. Um, he's an entrepreneur. Um, as long as I've known him, he's always been an entrepreneur in college, Gary, through parties, and that's how he was, he was known in, in college. I always had that entrepreneur spirit in me. Um, a location came available, I uh, had my eye on it for a while, and I always thought that would be a good location for a wing spot, and uh, May 20th, three years ago, I uh, opened my doors, and I opened it on my birthday, and that's why it's called 520 Wings, because it's, it's my birthday as well. We were together when he started 520 Wings. Um, he worked on his sauce for a year with 520 Wings, and actually, 520 Wings came about because we went to a sports bar on the south side and they wouldn't allow him to come in because he had on a white t-shirt. There was other customers in there with white t-shirts, but they wouldn't allow him to come in. So we left there, we went to Sam's Club, he bought a bag of wings and started on his sauces. And we ate wings for dinner every day for a year straight. One step forward. Health company, we work with adolescents ages 5 to 18 who suffer from mental health issues slash behavior issues as well. One Step Forward came about. It was an idea, it was Gary's idea. He wanted to work in a community with kids. He did the research on it and then he brought it to me as far as um, being the executive director and pretty much running the business. But it was his idea. Well, as he has this business where he works with children, at risk children within the neighborhood or the community and try to provide them a better lifestyle and try to expose them to things they maybe sometimes would not be exposed to in their homes. He does things within the community. I know that he does scholarship funds for his alma mater Beach High School. He does a lot of charity that's not documented. He gives turkeys to Salvation Army and Goodwill on Thanksgiving for them to feed the homeless as well as he donates clothes often to them. So he's someone that I think is will have a major place, a make play a major component within Savannah. It's, it is his hometown and this is where the all his business, businesses have been established. And I think that Gary Gordon is someone who one day will see put Savannah on the map. He's very creative. Gary is a very creative person. Um, he loves coming up with new stuff, new ideas. There's always something new with the restaurant. As far as food-wise, he's always coming up with new ideas for different ways, different um, therapy ideas for us to use here in the office with dealing with the kids. Like, he's a very creative person. And he's a leader. Gary, he's always trying to lead someone in some direction. He's, he's definitely a, a leader. He's an alpha male. For anybody who wants to own their own business, uh, the most important thing is just being consistent and patient at the same time and just knowing how to have a, um, 
a strong mindset and just you know don't get discouraged when things don't go your way the first, second, or third time. And you know it, it takes a strong person, it's discipline to achieve you know success.